All right, today we're gonna unbox and set up our 4G portable car GPS tracker. Um, to start with unboxing, let's check out what we get inside the box. So it comes with the actual unit. And just underneath, you get a cap for the tracker. And along with that, a charging cable and an extra metal metal uh, piece, which is like a slab, which can be used to stick on the car. I'll tell you a little bit more about it just in a second. Let's go ahead, configure it, set it up, and see how it works. All right, so starting with the tracker itself, it has a magnetic base. This full body is a magnet, uh, which sits quite nicely on any metal surface inside or outside the car. And then right on the other side, this is the way this is the space where you actually basically set up the sim card and it comes with a sim tray which is just right here a silicon tip which actually is there to protect it from any moisture or rough uh, environment there's an on and off button right at the top and if you just tilt it up that's up here you get a battery indicator which obviously tells you how much juice has you got have you got in it just under the battery label you have a silicon tip you just open the silicon tip and this is where our charging cable will go now there's a usb a port right here and a push button which is a bluetooth button i'll tell you a little bit more about it just in a second now the cable which comes in the box is just a generic cable you can find it in jb or any hardware shop and this is this is obviously used for charging this unit um, which actually comes with a big battery of 10,000 mAh so make sure when you use this cable to charge this unit plug it to the wall because that will actually give it sufficient in, uh, power to charge quicker as compared to plug it to your car charger um, yep simply plug it in here and it charges that way all right and along with that this thing here can be uh, it comes with this metal slab which is designed to use it it's an optional feature but you can always use this to stick on the part of the car where you would like to stick the magnet to uh, the tracker to sorry and then you can use this so that you can avoid any scratches on the surface of the car by putting it directly and removing it because you might have to charge it in 20 days um, right underneath where you got the metal uh, magnetic area of the tracker you have got a light sensor this light sensor when you lift it up from the surface it actually sends you an alert saying somebody's trying to remove the tracker so this is actually a temper alert sensor right here it uh, works when it's covered it actually remains inactive as soon as you uncover it it sends you a notification on your phone saying somebody tried to remove the tracker cool let's go ahead and get in depth about the features and how to set it up All right, so to begin with, to set it up, so set up your tracker for the first time, you just make sure that you have your smartphone on which the app will be downloaded and uh, a SIM card. And obviously just make sure that whenever you get a SIM card for this tracker, it has to be a Telstra SIM card. Um, a lot of people do use the subsidies of Telstra, so you can always go for something, with some uh, carrier provider which is using the Telstra network itself is completely okay. Only thing it ha what it compromises it on is actually giving you the precision on the map because Telstra has the most extensive network in here. So always recommend to go Telstra and make sure you activate it as a calling and a texting sim. Just, just do not activate it as a data sim because this tracker works only on a mobile calling and a texting sim. Um, once you got the sim card ready, activate it, save that phone number on your phone of your tracker's mobile number it, because your tracker will have its own mobile number and charge your tracker sufficiently normally we recommend to charge it for four to five hours to get in 100 battery on it so i have already charged it once the charging is done you are ready to set it up so very first thing remove the lid got my tracker sim card here push this sim slot the sim jacket backward open it up put the sim card slide it through now it slides nicely through this groove where you got it sits nicely there and obviously it's a full size sim card do not break it into half or a nano or micro <laughs> make sure it's a full size sim and lock it up 
once you lock the system jacket up, it sits nicely, you feel the click. Once the click is done, turn the tracker on. Now once you turn it on, in few seconds you might notice there will be a red light that will start flashing. There we go, we got a red light flashing, that means the, same, the tracker has recognized that there is a SIM inside it. Cool. And the battery label will come up here. Uh, so this means now we have done our hardware side of it, now we're gonna get the software side of it which is obviously setting up the app and configure it and bind it with our phone app. Let's do it in one sec. Cool, so once the SIM card has been set up in the tracker, make sure you turn it on with the help of the flick switch right here. Turn it on, put the silicon bit on the top so it's protected and then the extra cap which you get inside the package and just simply pop it on cool we ever see a red light coming here which obviously tells us that the sim card has been registered correctly great now when you got the tracker all set up let's jump into the apps um now for the, the now this is an important part because it works for both Apple as well as Android users when it comes to the Android users you gotta make sure uh, that you send an SMS command to the tracker to set it up um, the SMS command that is used for a test system in this tracker uh, so basically what you'll do you'll actually type in a text message to your trackers mobile number and for example if I wanna send a message to my tracker which I have already saved on my phone all I will do is type in um, a message which is an SMS command so APN Telstra dot internet and hash now this is a specific way for Android users the reason why Android users setup is slightly different is because there is an app which cannot be downloaded on an Android which is used for setting it up. Uh, so once you get that command sent it will reply back to your message saying APN set OK which means the tracker has now recognized that I will be working from now on on a Telstra SIM. Now unlike Android users for Apple users the process is slightly different and but super easy all you need to do is go to the App Store download Two free applications the first app is to bind the tracker to your phone and the second app will be your go-to app which is um, used for tracking on the day-to-day -day basis now the app to bind the tracker to your phone is called Jimmy IOT lab that's how it looks and you will be able to see it on the screen download the app and once you download this app on the phone just leave it on and then open it once you open this app it comes up with the first screen which says preset and connect now it says connect device with bluetooth and this is where our one one more button on the device that comes in play but before that any pop-up comes on the screen make sure you click ok to that and now you will see an empty screen which doesn't have anything on it saying connect at the top on your actual tracker there is a button next to the charging port just press this button five times so just push 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 so you push it five times and just wait for 30 seconds your device will come up with the name on this list and that is uh, by ensuring that your Bluetooth of the phone is on as soon as you see the name of the device comes up on the screen click on that it says, it says successfully connected uh, another pop-up comes up saying allow while using app and we will show you this screen right here now you don't need to do anything just go right into the middle uh, bottom of the screen saying command mode just go on command mode shows you another screen saying command mode with command password ignore the command password you don't need to feed anything in there but at the bottom of it you got command just click on command and in command type that command again which is APN comma Telstra dot internet hash. Now this command is obviously uh, provided by Telstra, so we just put it in there, in there and click send. As soon as you click uh, enter, uh, when you hit send, 
it comes up saying APN set OK or it says sometime APN set OK newly set APN will be activated in 10 seconds and you will notice that the lights of the tracker will go off and will come back again on the battery. If you're not ensure that the tracker is working just press this button one more time it will tell you how much if the tracker is active now. This means the tracker has been set up now. Now once this is done we will go straight into our actual app which we use on a day-to-day basis uh, which is track solid pro the uh, it is a, this is a great app to use oh, i'm sorry it's a track solid space pro make sure it's a space pro it comes up with the name a free application no subscription required you get a lifetime access to it uh, once you own the app just download it for free no ads or pop-ups whatsoever get this downloaded on your phone once you download this app on the phone, make sure you know the password of your email address because you will be signing up with your email address on this one. Uh, it can be your personal email or business email, it doesn't matter. And once the app is downloaded, we will be able to log in. Cool. So once the app has downloaded on the phone, open it, comes up with some pop-ups, make sure you allow everything. So go allow and then swipe 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 enter once you enter click on agree and accept and then log in with your email address and the password to do that you will require to push this sign up at the bottom um, go ok and then select Australia enter your email address verification code will be sent to your email once you hit this round uh, tab on the side with the arrow symbol uh, it sends you a six digit code you enter the six digit code here enter the password confirm that password agree and submit as soon as you submit it will take you to the main screen where you can log in cool so once you sign up and sign in in the app with the help of your email address and the password the first screen that pops up is this one it might come up with a pop-up saying allow while using app make sure you click on allow while using app um, the first page at the bottom we got home list alert and profile so now now it's time to actually hook this up with the app um, obviously it's personalized because it has got your email address but it helped you log in into it so nobody else can get access to the tracker except you because you are the one who knows the password so click on list click on the plus sign right at the top it will come up with enter IMEI and then square sign on the side now for your convenience you don't have to actually type in physically type in the each digit instead of that just click on the square symbol and it says the phone uh, I would like to uh, access your phone camera just click OK and your camera is ready now at the bottom of your tracker there's a part there's a QR code here but what you can do is to make it easy for yourself you can actually use that box and capture the barcode from the bottom of, from here which is obviously which matches this so all I can do is simply scan the QR code from here. It captures the whole thing. Normally, just make sure you the last three digits are the same. 752, perfect. And once that's done, click on the device. The next screen that will come up on the screen on the on the app will be to it's a customized screen. You can always put the uh, register number of the car and the driver if you're lending your car to someone and the contact number of that mobile SIM card that that's inside just to keep a record of that and at the bottom you got device uh, icon which is obviously how you will see the car moving on the map uh, for example I got a, a I got a sedan I can select sedan uh, or an SUV or a truck let's go sedan this time um, just anything random uh, let's say that's my rego that's the name of the driver and that's the phone number cool safe Perfect. So once you once you're done saving that, go back to the screen. It will come up right here. There we go. Now, if you notice, it has just added on our app, and then it's also telling us the status of, status of the tracker. It is stopped at the moment. Now, to know a bit more about it, just click on these three dots on the side of the screen, on right to the corner of the screen. Just click there. It will expand the view. The most commonly used features are tracking, playback, geofence, commands, and details. In future, if you want to change your vehicle or you're going to give, lend your car to somebody else, go to details and this is where it will actually tell you all the information. 
you can change the name of it you can know how much battery have you got there um, and also the address where the vehicle is located at that moment uh, so all those things can be viewed from here uh, in tracking it's, it's the most commonly used feature on this one it will give you the real view of the car where the vehicle is going where is it moving where is it not going it will take show the live view here playback will help you in knowing the previous uh, and data up to 180 days you can go today yesterday this week last week and so on if you want to customize it you can always customize and there, there are two flags at the top right corner it basically this is pretty it comes pretty useful because you can scroll all the way back to the previous days and find out obviously this has just been set up so I don't have much data but it actually gives you a nice view here from point A to point B every movement of the car cool and then Geofence is great. Geofence helps you in setting up your uh, a silo or a circle around where the vehicle is going. It can go from 200 kilometers up to 5,000 kilometers. If you set up a geofence on the map, it will allow you to know if it has if the car has left the area or entered the area. Um, there, are there are quite a few more features which you can set up on the tracker. And to know those features, you can simply go on profile, go to alert settings. And it will tell you how many notifications are there some of them some of them might not be relevant to this tracker model because it's a universal app that is used for all over all of all kind of trackers that we sell uh, but if you have any questions about it you can always reach us out we can help you giving an extensive guide about it cool and that's all about this tracker um, if you have any further questions feel free to reach us out we'll be happy to assist you